Oklahoma City was an attack on defenseless citizens. You know, I could hear yelling, screaming. He said, you can't go up there, it's too dangerous. But I just kept saying, yeah, our baby's not in there. And I thought, who has come in here and done this terrible thing? FBI hotline. We had all kinds of experts looking for clues. Because at the very first, they had no idea who did it. Then we started getting calls about Middle Easterners, started looking for Middle Easterners. But then someone I spoke to said, do you know what day it is? And immediately it hit me. This is about Waco. Members of the community out there have heard automatic weapons fire and explosions coming from the compound. You went back on your word. That is a lie. When I saw the fire, all I could think about with the children in there. Nine adults came out. Not one of them brought a child out. You're next! Wake up and understand! You're next! They were really imagining this fortress. It's the new thing in America. It's called the militia. No constable's gonna come and break their door down. They'll shoot them first. FBI agents surround the cabin. All we know at that point, there was a shootout. When it was all said and done, Sammy and Vicki Weaver were dead. Baby kid! Baby kid! Baby kid! The events at Ruby Ridge lit up the radical right. You call yourself an American? These are Americans! You're a disgrace to the white race! And they decided that they would basically declare war on the U.S. There'll be a lot of blood running one day. It was just a lightning moment of recognition. This was the guy in the sketch. Last night, Timothy McVeigh was charged in the bombing of the Murrah Federal Building here in Oklahoma City. I think everybody felt this sudden sense of betrayal. I think everyone thought, you're one of us. If you continue with shit like Ruby Ridge and Waco, this is what's going to happen. Timothy McVeigh, he was the creation of the white supremacist movement. There was a strong connection. All these events, they were all connected.